Okay, very nice work on lesson three. We made it to the end and we're back at the photo portfolio project. Remember, throughout the bootstrap unit, we're building a photo portfolio for Kit. In the last lesson, we created the homepage, which is up here in the top right. And in this lesson, we're gonna create the galleries page. And here's a preview of it here on the left side. So Kit takes different types of photos, party photos, landscapes, castles, cats, and we're going to build out the skeleton for the galleries page that's going to hold all of these sever pages, which we'll build out later. In the bottom section here are the instructions that we're going to need for this exercise. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll do one piece at a time. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get the code from the last lesson, which has the homepage that we already created, because right now there's nothing here. So if you go down here to lesson two, you can right click the little star icon, open it up in a new tab so you don't lose where you're at now. And then just copy everything in index and paste it over here in your new index page. Okay, so if we run this, should look familiar. We created this in lesson two. This is the home page, and now we're moving on to galleries. So over in gallery HTML, this is where we will do all of our work today. First thing we want to do is create a container that's going to hold all of our content. Remember, the container is what makes Bootstrap mobile responsive. When we use Fluid, it allows our container to expand and contract to adjust to different size devices, which is one of the advantages of using Bootstrap. It's mobile responsive and very user friendly in that in that regard. So this container is going to hold the meat of our web page. Inside of this container, we need a jumbotron for the galleries heading that you see at the top. So I'm going to tab in and create another div container, but this one's going to have a class of jumbotron and we're going to use h1 tags to style the text inside of jumbotrons. Okay, this is in the directions, I'm just including it now. Okay, so this will hold the title, and now we wanna create these separate jumbotrons that are in the center of the page. Okay, those are going to go in a separate container. So underneath the title, we're going to create another container and this one is going to have also the class text center, which is gonna center all of the text inside of the jumbotrons, just like you see in the preview. Inside of this container, this is where our four jumbotrons are gonna go. Party photos, landscapes, castles, and cats. Eventually, each of these is going to link to a separate HTML page, but for now, again, we're just building the skeleton. So to create the jumbotrons, I'm going to do a class equal to Jumbotron, and remember that you want the text inside to be an H1, and they're eventually gonna be linked, so I'm gonna set up the anchor tag so that it's ready to go when we move on to those pages. So there we go. That's the skeleton for the Jumbotron. Let me go ahead and copy that and paste it for three more times since we have four jumbotrons in total. So the first one is party photos. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. The second one, and I'm putting that right in the center of my anchor tags. The second one is landscapes. Then we have castles. And this one we already have the URL for. They gave it to us here. It's castlegallery.html. That's gonna be the name of the file. We don't know the other ones yet, so We'll just fill this one in for now. And then the final one is cats. So I'm using the preview here to help guide my coding and that should get most of it done. The only thing left to do is to color in the background of all of our jumbotrons because right now they're all light gray and we want them to be dark gray like we see in the exercise. So that's gonna involve a little CSS and we have that dark gray color code right here I'll go over to my style sheet and I'll add in a rule that's going to grab all my jumbotrons and give them a background color of 
96858F, which is dark gray. Okay, so I think we got everything here. This looks great. You should test these and make sure they're links right now. If you click them, they're not going anywhere, but we do want them to be eventually linkable to other pages. So this wraps up lesson three. Very nice work. In the next lesson, we'll move on in Bootstrap. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to continue working on this photo portfolio project. So I'm looking forward to getting it done and seeing what the final result is going to be. Any questions, please let me know. Very nice work, everyone. Thank you.